Now let us see an application of Chaikovsky rearrangement. For example, if you take a cyclo cyclic molecule, irrespective of the number of carbon atoms here, I put out as n, and there is an alpha bromine atom. This, when treated with sodium ethoxide, what happens is these acidic protons will be abstracted by sodium ethoxide, resulting in the formation of an enolate. So I'll write the enolate first. So this is the enolate. And then what happens is the enolate rearranges to form the cyclopropanone ring system. So this is the cyclopropanone ring system that you can see here. As you have shown, this is a uh, cyclopropanone ring system. And then what happens is this undergoes a cleavage forming this works in the presence of ethoxide ion and that goes and attacks here finally it abstracts a proton from the medium and the product that what we get is So this works for cyclic molecules having any number of carbon atoms. So with ease, without any difficulty, by Favorsky rearrangement, we can easily prepare cyclic esters. And as you know, cyclic esters are very good intermediates for pharmacy. Many pharmaceutical intermediates can be prepared by using this substrate. So that is, that is a major application of Favorsky rearrangement. Thank you.